Okay, thanks for following my YouTube channel. Um, this is part two of the jewelry unboxing. As you may know from the first video, unfortunately, the majority of the box was mostly rosary beads and uh, <laughs> mustaches. What I'm gonna do with that many rosary beads and mustaches, I don't know. We're gonna have a bead party and we're gonna, that's all that's gonna be there because that's all we got out of that box. Um, I wasn't gonna do a second unboxing video. Um, however, I was really hoping that we would find more actual jewelry because uh, that's what I paid for. Um, so I do wanna go ahead and open this second box. Again, it was also labeled um, that it was opened and resealed by the US Fish and Wildlife. Um, so that's kind of a little scary, but I found no critters in the other box. So I think we're good on that one. Um, again, this one is the same kind of thing. It's full to the brim overflowing and I'm not gonna go through every single piece, but we're gonna pull out, you know, as many as we can um, and go from there. So uh, those were rosary beads and mustaches. Um, what I can see from here though, is actually there's quite a bit of mixed match jewelry in here, which is a really good sign. All right, the first piece I'm pulling out is a black and gold piece. I'm going to go ahead and open this up. Let's see if we can figure out what is in here. Ooh, look at that. That's fun. That is really pretty. It's got um, a bunch of, like, multifaceted stones, uh, plastic. They're plastic, but um, real sparkly in the light. So as you can see. This is beautiful. Oh my goodness. Does it get any cuter than this? Ooh, which way am I going? Which way? There we go. <laughs> In front of the camera. The, um, it's all made out of like a, a mesh woven wire, which makes it really lightweight. Uh, it's a rose gold color and it actually sits off to the side with a flexible, I wonder if it's supposed to be a choker as well. It looks too big to be a choker. Um, maybe even a hair piece. I mean, this looks like a hair band uh, right here. So it does sit off to the side a little bit. So I'm not sure, you know, you'd probably kind of have it sitting like that. Here's another one. Those will sell really well, I think. A couple more of those. Ooh, whoa, look at that. That's a big old statement piece. Um, long. And it's got a pretty blue stone in it. And then at the bottom, it's like, it looks blue, I think, on my screen. But it's like a silvery black color at the bottom. A couple more of those. Actually, a bunch more of those. This one's kind of similar, but instead of a circular one, it has a, uh, a heart-shaped rhinestone in it. Another heart-shaped one. We'll pile of those. Hopefully they sell well because we got a few of them. Ooh! Oh, look at that. That's so funny. That's just like that black one. It's just this pretty blue color. The light, I don't think you can really tell because I'm actually losing my daylight here, but um, the light is just shining right through them and is really picking up the colors. Um, really pretty. And we have a bunch of those as well. Wow, a whole bunch. I'm going to stand up here and Okay, so this box is so far doing much better than the last box. I see no rosary beads or funky uh, mustaches. It was almost like a joke opening that one. Um, but we have a bunch more of these statement pieces. The blue one just fell out of the bag. Um, it's a lion. Look, I don't know if you can see it. I think I have my camera upside down. So every time I turn it one way, I think I'm going the other way. All right, um, it's a little lion face and he's just like a charm on a chain. Oh, that's pretty. This is a uh, Jersey style heart shaped necklace and they're two sided. So what I like about that is when you put a necklace on, what I don't like about statement pieces is you move a little bit and they start kind of rolling around and you get like the underneath side always showing on the outside and that's not fun for anybody. Um, See if I can get close enough and show you. Uh, these are super sparkly and uh, they just have so many facets to catch the light on a, um, they're like a light pink color and it's sitting on a gold chain. I need to put some more of those. Oh, and my favorite, <laughs> we couldn't go through the box without those beads. 
And in fact, it looks like maybe the bottom part of the box is filled with rosy beads. I really hope not. I mean, it's not that I have anything against rosary beads. It's just when you buy a box and you expect it to have necklaces, that's what you want. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Um, digging through the piles and piles of rosary beads, I'm actually really disappointed that it's all, uh, okay, well, this is what it is, that's what you get when you order liquidations. Um, here's a kind of a cool piece, it's knotted, um, it's got a gold chain on it, and it's got like an actual white knot with, uh, black rhinestones kind of throughout the piece. And that, folks, may be the end of this box because literally it's still full and all I see are endless rosy beads. Alright, and here's a piece that um, reminds me of the of the um, a rope like at the movie theaters <laughs> it's thick I mean look how thick that is um, again I'm losing my light here that's unfortunate so it's just like a big knotted piece of rope which is really kind of neat and then it's got a silver clasp on the back if there's anything else in here we're talking about um, a whole lot more of those these bows which I'm so excited about because they're so stinking cute There's not really much else new in there, I don't think, um, without actually pulling everything out. Um, there are some pieces that I saw in the other box. So I guess they probably went hand in hand. Um, a few other multiples. Overall, I mean, the pieces that I did get were really exciting and really fun. Um, I am disappointed, honestly, to have so many rosary beads because that is not what I was hoping to pay for. So, um, well, keep watching. Follow us on YouTube and keep watching. Hopefully, we'll continue this. I might try some other items, um, not just jewelry, but other things as well, and see what works for me. So, if you um, want to check back, we will hopefully have more content. Thank you.